biased, incompetent, flawed. The way Adam Kaufman's attorneys saw it, prosecutors had put on a great show for the defense. You will hear that this is a prosecution in search of a crime. An innocent man has been falsely charged with a crime that did not occur, which he did not commit. No crime at all, said defense attorney Bill Matthewman. Certainly not murder. The defense's claim? That Lena blacked out, collapsed, fell neck first onto a magazine rack, a freak set of mishaps that cut off her airflow and caused her death. A theory he could have proven easily, said attorney Matthewman, if it hadn't been for incompetent investigators. For starters, he said, lead detective Anthony Angulo ordered this detective, Anna Howell, to disregard a key piece of evidence at the scene. Detective Angulo specifically told you not to take those items of evidence, those magazines, into custody. Is that right? right? The magazines in that rack, said the defense, were the key to the mystery. They would have proven that Lena fell there because they would have been stained by her fresh spray-on tan. I think the failure to collect the magazines in and of itself could constitute reasonable doubt. You never fail to take in to custody evidence. In fact, said Adams' lawyers, the police were so determined to prove this was a murder, they misread the scene entirely. Here are these photographs prior to... Like, for example, when Howell told the court she found chipped polish on Lena's nails. The nail polish on Eleanor Hawkins' middle finger and index finger are chipped. The detective's suggestion? that Lena's husband attacked her, and she fought for her life. But the defense hired its own crime scene expert to look at that tiny bathroom space. Did you find any signs of a struggle inside the house? I found uh, nothing that would indicate anything like that. But to be fair, said the defense, Howell wasn't the only one who screwed up that morning. I put my hand on the hood and uh, I felt that it was extremely warm. A police officer said the hood of Adam's car was warm to the touch, but the defense answered, of course the car hood was warm. It was locked in a garage on a hot Miami night. Evidence of nothing. Mr. Coffin was completely dressed. Prosecutors, said the defense, tried the same tact with those emergency workers. They said Adam didn't seem to them like a man who just rolled out of bed to find his wife unconscious. They insisted he was fully clothed. And yet, that's not what the very first responder on the scene witnessed. I saw a man on top of a woman attempting what looked like CPR. What was the man wearing when you entered the room? At that time, he was wearing boxers and a t-shirt. What those others likely saw, said the defense, was Adam's identical twin who arrived at the house perfectly dressed minutes after that 911 call ended. I had no reason to change my opinion whatsoever. It's an incidental fact. But what really stuck in the craw of Adam's lawyers no was that medical examiner who ruled Lena's death a homicide. Why did it take him a year and a half to call it that? Because, they said, he was pressured into it by police. On cross-examination, co-counsel Al Millian ripped into the doctor. Detective Anthony Angulo and Adam Chur have been pushing you to rule it a homicide. Isn't that true? Objection, Your Honor. That's, that's not true, Counselor, and, and you know it. And the defense used Lena's autopsy photos to make the case for its own theory, that she died accidentally. There are these marks on the undersurface of the chin. These match the spines of the magazine in terms of a contact mark. This former medical examiner testified for the defense that the pressure on her neck would have clearly blocked her airflow, killing her. But it was why the defense said Lena collapsed. That was the real shocker. These cells should not be here. These the doctor said he took apart Lena's heart up, and found dancing. scarring. This is active focal myocarditis. Scarring of the heart that the state medical examiner never found. Heart disease. The doctor explained to a riveted courtroom that Lena likely had no idea just how sick she was until her heart suddenly gave out that morning. The, truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I do. And then, just for good measure, the defense called someone else with star power to the stand. Congestive heart failure and all that. Uh, Dr. Michael Bodden, the former New York City medical examiner and frequent medical expert in high-profile murder cases, reviewed Lena's autopsy file and said yes. to him there was, was no question no about it. That there was no murder. She died of natural causes. 
Even Lena's own mother said she tried to tell detectives that her daughter had suffered frequent fainting spells before her death, that it might indeed have been an accident, but they wouldn't listen. How many calls were made to the detective trying to reach him? My son, my ex-husband, and myself, I had to call there too. Uh, I assume it was about 25 calls, M maybe more. That's it was something you rarely see, a grieving mother defending the man accused of killing her daughter. She said Adam was and is like a son to her. We are very close and usual, even more closer than before. Frida, do you love Adam? Like my own son. And as happened a number of times during this trial, a state witness wound up winning points for the defense. Adam's so-called love interest, for example, no, it wasn't quite like that. Yes, they dated for a while, but Adam wasn't going to get deeply involved, she learned. Adam wasn't emotionally available, which she always made very clear from the very start. The red evidence tape. Um, Finally, one last loose end. Remember CSI Anna Howell? Earlier she testified that she, a married woman, had only a working relationship with lead detective Angulo. When you've been off duty, you've socialized with detective Angulo? No, sir. No? But the very next day, she was called back to the stand and had to admit she hadn't told the truth. You knew you had misrepresented your relationship to this jury on the stand under oath. Isn't that true, ma'am? Yes or no? It was part of the case. Yes or no, ma'am? Is that true? Yes. Thank you. In fact, the two had had an affair. Are you married? Yes. Did you have an affair with Detective Angula? Yes, and my husband is well aware of it, sir, and I am happily married, and I don't have any issues with that any longer. Then she said the old affair never affected her work, and with that she stormed out of the courtroom. To the defense, it was clear they said that she and Angula were in cahoots, and that a man who wanted so badly to prove Adam a killer, the detective who never took the stand in this trial, could not be trusted. In his closing, the lawyer said it was Adam who was the real victim of a lousy police investigation. They bungled this investigation beyond recognition to Adam's detriment, causing the false charges to be lodged against him in this case. But it was one person the court didn't hear from who maybe mattered most, Adam Kaufman. He opted not to take the stand in his defense, but he wanted to speak to us. The problem with this case comes down to one word, investigation. A rookie detective working his first homicide, a fellow in the medical examiner's office not doing a thorough autopsy. Ms. Eisman has two beautiful grandchildren. More infuriating, he said, was the prosecutor's claim that Lena's mother was only standing by him so he'd let her see her grandchildren. The joy of her life. That outraged Lena's mother. You think she's going to go against him? Are you accusing me of lies? One of the prosecutors in his closing went after your family and basically said right. that your mother-in-law was a captive of your family, could do nothing to express her real opinion because otherwise she'd be left out in the cold. How dare he yeah. go after Lena's mother? Lena's mother? who bravely came into that courthouse and stood up for the son-in-law that's charged with second-degree murder of her daughter. His mother-in-law's show of loyalty was striking, but would it be enough to impress the jurors and save Adam? <laughs>